Peace. This is Jabari Quest, and you're now tuning into Quest Nutrition Network. This is the place where you're going to find all the in depth information about holistic medicine, holistic herbs, nutrition. So, you know, we're here in Sundown today, and we're going to get some information about holistic health and nutrition and herbs and everything. I got the distinguished honor of being here with the brother that runs this place, all right, Dre, and we're going to talk about a lot of herbs that could be beneficial to a lot of different people. People always want to know information about better ways to improve their health. So that's what we're here for. That's what Quest Nutrition Network is all about, and we're going to get this thing started. But before we do anything, I just want to do this disclaimer. We got to do this. So right off of the bat, you know, me, Jabari Quest, John Michelle, I'm not here to cure or diagnose or treat any ailment, you know. So now that this that disclaimer is done and out the way with, you know, on to the next thing. And uh, you know, Dre. Pleasure, pleasure. You know? So just basically right now what I want to do is I want to know, um, give us an in-depth background about the, the brand Sundown. Talk, talk, talk to us about your grandfather. I know that he's an herbalist and, you know, your family, how this, how this establishment came about. You know, right, talk to right, us about right. that. Well, from what I understand, and uh, it's funny, me and him had a conversation about this. Mm -hmm. And um, it really, it wasn't really about the brand or business aspect. It was more or less about the, the tradition. Okay. You know, like it was, it was the, the tradition to kind of know the herbs and what they were about. And, you know, if he was ever sick, you know, his grandparents or great-grandparents would tell him to go out to the bush and pick out a, an herb that's good for the cold or cough or anything like that. Okay. You know, so it was mainly about tradition before, like, the business aspect even kind of came about. Okay. You know? And um, it was humble beginnings. I know, like, and he started, like, you know, in his, in his, uh, in, in his apartment. You know, with like four pots, and he's making wood root tonic and stuff like that for his people. Wow. Okay. You know? Okay. And then eventually it kind of blossomed into the business. Now, a couple of weeks back, you know, I had came over here and I had a bad cough. You know, I, I, I don't know if it was a sinus infection or if it was bronchitis or something. And I came over here and you gave me a couple of herbs. You know, talk, talk to us about, you know, some of the herbs that a person could take. You know, if they have like a cough or a cold or some type of a sinus infection, something that's dead, that's in their chest. What, right, right, you know, what are right, some right. of the things that a person could take for that? All right, well, I know one of the popular ones, one of the high items over here, there's an herb called mullein, mullein leaf. Okay. Now, mullein is very good for all respiratory ailments, be it asthma, be it bronchitis, be it, you know, well, those really are mucus on the chest. Because they okay. say, you know, at the end of the day, all sicknesses is mucus in a particular area. Okay. And depending on where the area is, they'll call it a different thing. Okay. So, like, you know, mucus in the chest would be arthritis. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not, not arthritis, I mean asthma. Asthma, right, um, right, Mucus right. in the bronchial tubes would be bronchitis. Bronchitis. You know. Mucus in the joints and all that tends to be the arthritis, arthritis right? And so on and so forth. Now, um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, digestive problems. Digestive problems is really on the rise right now. Right. Everything from um, hemorrhoids, di from to di diverticulitis, um, diarrhea, constipation. You know, what are some of the the, the herbs and, and natural alternatives right. that you know an individual can choose from to help? with these ailments that are that just common. Right. They're common in the US now. Right. It's not right. even like, you know, so what are some of the things and steps that people could take? All right, well, you know, first and foremost, they say, you know, simply eating your eating your meals and having your beverages separately, not to do both at the same time. Okay. You know, okay. because um Again, you know, when we eat, you know, your body releases acids to break down the food inside your stomach. Yes, yes, if you're yes. drinking liquids while your body's releasing the acids, you dilute the acid and the body can't break down the food properly. Exactly. It actually interferes with digestion. Yes, yes. So you have whole pieces of food that sit in your stomach and that sours and that'll be the gas or the bloated feeling that we yes, feel. Yes, yes, It'll decay. That's where worms and parasites stem from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Yeah. So that's one simple thing, just having your, your beverages and your meals separate. Maybe like half an hour apart, half, half an, an hour, hour to, to an 45, hour. 40 right. to, or maybe to an hour. Right, right, okay. right. And uh, also, too, the hours in which we eat are very important. Yes. You know, like yes. um, we're eating too early, you know, we're eating too late, mm -hmm. you know, because, um, you know, they say the body runs on its own clock in a sense. Yes. So they say yes. from about 12 noon to about 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. is the hours in which we're supposed to be eating. Exactly. 
you know, 8 yeah. p.m. onwards to 4 a.m. is the period when the body's resting. Yes. 4 a.m. onward to about noon is when the body's relieving weights. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know, people, you know, people are having huge breakfasts around like oh, yeah, 9, yeah. 10 in the morning when oh, the body. Sometimes earlier than that. Right. Yeah, right. I've so, heard people say that they'll eat some chicken at 4 or 5 in the morning. Right. I literally, like, I've worked with people who said, you know, I'm about to have some chicken and it's 5 o'clock. And it's their breakfast. Right. You right, know what I mean? Right, and right. Um, like you said, you said it, you know, uh, you couldn't have said it any better. Our bodies operate on a cycle. Right. And that's a law. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You cannot break a law. Right. You know, that's just how it is. That's the way our bodies were designed. That's how you said it. It has its own schedule. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and we're, we're kind of going against that natural schedule. So, like I said, you know, we're eating when the body should be resting. We're eating when the body's trying to relieve what's already in it, and we're just stockpiling garbage on top of garbage until eventually you have chronic diseases. Mm. You know, so uh, another thing too, you know, they say the idea of having a big breakfast and a big dinner also is a no-go. Mm. You know, because if you if you understand fasting, you know, before you go into a fast, you prepare your body for it, mm -hmm. and coming out of a fast, you prepare your body before you begin to eat normal amounts. Right. And when you're sleeping, you're fasting. You right. know, hence the word breakfast. Breaking yes. your fast. Breaking your fast. Going into you know dinner. Mm -hmm. You're preparing your body for the fast. Mm -hmm. So, ideally, lunch should be your heaviest meal. Mm -hmm. Breakfast and dinner being your lightest meals. Mm -hmm. And you know that too, without you having to take any herb or any you know any yeah. medication or anything like that. Doing those simple things will kind of curb you know a lot of these digestive ailments just mm -hmm. by you know Excellent. just by doing simple practices. Excellent. Excellent. And then if you want to get into herbs, mm -hmm. you know, there's like ginger, ginger root, yes. um, any mint from peppermint to spearmint, mm -hmm. um, psyllium husk, yes. Um, yes. cassava meal, mm -hmm. uh, even our, our tonic, we have, um, I'll show you right here, this is a display, where this is uh, the Coromanti bitters, okay. and yes. um, this you drink last thing at night, traditionally. And I mean, this is good for all types of digestive ailments, be it acid reflux, uh, heartburn, uh, even fibroid tumors in okay. women. Okay. Um, How about Crohn's disease? Would that be helpful? Yeah, any, any, yeah, any, any digestive yeah. issues. And you find them. also okay. too a lot of the digestive issues or digestive tonics will also help combat a lot of psychological ailments as well. Oh wow! Because they say like insanity, you know, um, headaches, and all yeah. of that stem from the cold. Stem from the gut. Yeah. Right. You know so. You can't go wrong with like a regular cleansing of the digestive system, Absolutely. of the colon and the intestines and all of that. Absolutely.